what we want as consumers is natural, simple and transparent and sustainable and credible and taste priority. And if any of you have been here for any of my previous talks, you'll hear about my holistic mantra, which was look at it, smell it, feel it, look at the, the sweetness and savouriness of it, tartness, intensity and characteristic. What we've got with the development of a lot of vegan products is basically substitution of protein. That is the fundamental that challenges every product developer. And it's a structural binding thing, but the thing about meat protein is that it's so much more than just protein. It is integral with all kinds of different other infrastructures. What we need to substitute those proteins, whether they be pea, hemp or soya or whatever, is a combination of different components. We often need other hydrocolloids to build in some kind of integral structure to, to that protein. There are a number of new proteins that are coming through, new solutions. There, there are always new solutions coming from the food industry. But fundamentally, what we need to look for is taste. If we don't get the taste right, we don't get the product right. I always think about approaching a product in terms of the colour. If, if it's not orange, it's not orange. Carmine and cochineal, we've had a number of issues currently where in, in France, people have thought that for many years, these are, well, they are natural colors, but they are from in, insects. Sometimes within coloring substances, you can have um, substantiating materials so that you've got gelatin to help um, stabilize those colors and shellac which again is a wax from insects we're now moving away from these things but you need to be aware of them also you know we've got dairy derivatives in terms of animal rennet uh, which you need to be aware of derivatives such as lactose which certain materials can be coated on which are not necessarily declared, but a part of the, the process. Flavours. Savoury flavours are based on animal proteins. There are many ways of creating these flavours, but they don't necessarily suit the same base as the vegetarian options. Vitamin D, we've heard about this, so I'm not going to dwell on it. D3 is preferred, D2 vegetarian, but not necessarily, well, it certainly isn't vegetarian or vegan. Long chain omega fatty acids, processing aids. How far do you want to go back in the process? There is so much sort of also undeclared in this. Indeed, how far do you want to go back in the process?